things are not going well at Fox. Here is Laura Ingraham having a total breakdown. Play the clip. Well, bigger than a wait, Obama. Would Obama need 30 minutes in his SUV with his briefing book to prepare for this? She opens the book. Then Jesse Waters, one of the main hosts at Fox, just leaning in on just insulting women over and over again. I guess they're getting those talking points from Trump and Shady Vance. Here is Jesse Waters saying that the problem with Vice President Kamala Harris is she's just a mediocre woman. Here, play this clip. And she's just an average woman, Kennedy. She's, she's just an average kind of mediocre person who avoids fixing things because she doesn't want any attention that's negative. She doesn't try that hard. And then when she does not try, she gets in trouble for not trying. And then she yells at everybody else. She likes wine. She likes food. <laughs> she likes to dance. She's just like your typical girl's girl that Sounds very basic. talks yeah. behind everybody's back and then says nice things to your face. It's just, you know, she's just not at the level of what you'd think would be a president. Mm. She's just too mediocre to be president. Very interesting. Um, so Laura Ingraham, after having a total freak out, then says, we need everybody to have a chill pill. Take a chill pill when it comes to Vice President Kamala Harris. Play this clip. Now, everyone on the right having conniptions over the Kamala honeymoon period needs to take a chill pill. Okay, I'm about sick of this. This is no time to collapse and do a puddle of goo. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Yeah, they are really having one. Then Janine Pirro needs to weigh in. Here's what she's gotta say, play the clip. She's abusive, she curses them out, she belittles them, she makes them feel like garbage. I mean, this is not a woman who should lead 350 Americans when she- Then you have Jessica Tarlov, um, who's the only pro-democracy voice essentially on Fox, saying, look, Donald Trump's been getting a free ride since now, as he talks about electrocution over getting eaten by sharks and Hannibal Lecter. And then Jesse Waters tries to jump in to defend Donald Trump. Those are great points, Jesse Waters says. I mean, come on, play the clip. And for Donald Trump to be talking about how easy of a time that she's getting, she's just coasting by, he at this point, is basically getting a free ride to continue talking about, like I've said, electrocuting sharks and all of it. Oh, no, it's true. Hmm. People well, have it so baked in. Between whether you want to get eaten by a shark or electrocuted <laughs> by your EV. Oh, I didn't realize that. Well, then all of it makes sense. <laughs> Donald Trump is really flailing at this particular moment. He has spent the week trying to post pictures of Kamala's Indian family to claim that means that she isn't black. And Kamala Harris has been barnstorming all over the country. She had a huge rally in Atlanta. And like I said, the enthusiasm is up. And the forecasts now are even slightly favoring her rest. Then as it's obvious that Fox has nothing to talk about in order to defend Donald Trump or go after Vice President Kamala Harris, Fox then does what it's always been doing, which is to uh, try to stoke fear through their culture wars that they always bring up here. Play this clip. Now at a point where we're about to give gold medals to men for beating up women. We might have a gold and silver medalist who just beat up a bunch of women. They're gonna stand up on the podium and get medals hung around their neck for punching girls in the face. No one is saying that they're men. They're not men. They're men. No, okay. They're, they're Everybody men. knows they're men, they're Jessica. Men. And if that, Trump were president, he would slap Algeria with sanctions. Yep. Harris. And you can see how inauthentic Laura Ingraham is here as well, as she's trying to criticize Vice President Kamala Harris. She's like, that was a bad one. Like, what are you even talking about here? Play the clip. Because her brilliance about topics like Ukraine, it's just too much for most mortals to digest. I mean, listen, guys. We're talking about the potential for war in Europe. I mean, let's really take a moment to understand the significance of what we're talking about. Oh yeah, that was a bad one. Yeah. Then they attack Vice President Kamala Harris for hugging people. Play the clip. Yeah, now you get it. It's better for her to stay in her sweet spot as the hugger in chief. <sighs>
They then try to attack Vice President Kamala Harris, who's the Vice President of the United States, who was previously a senator from California, a senator in the United States Senate. Then she was before that the Attorney General of the entire state of California. And then she was a local prosecutor. But go on, Fox, explain that she has no experience. Here, play this clip. She's even worse than Biden because she's never really been vetted and she has no experience. Then Janine Pirro on Fox complains that one of the big issues with Vice President Kamala Harris is she didn't take the advice of Kevin McCarthy, who was kicked out by his own party as Speaker of the House. Here, play this clip. Came in with the uh, uh, Biden administration, part of the unity uh, team. They were going to unify. And she consistently uh, has appeared as as that kind of person, not meeting with Kevin McCarthy when she was uh, apparently in the Senate. She didn't want to engage in any kind of communications with the other side. She is vicious. And then, of course, Kevin McCarthy has to weigh in here. Play this clip. I've been the leader of the Republican Party and the speaker. Never once did she call us in and ask, what are your ideas? What should we do? As a- Jessica Tarlov, again, the lone pro-democracy voice on Fox is so perplexed that J.D. Vance calls Vice President Kamala Harris a chameleon when J.D. Vance has changed his name three times. He's changed his entire identity like four times. And J.D. Vance previously said that Donald Trump was America's Hitler. And now supports Donald Trump. Here, play this clip. J.D. Vance calling Kamala Harris a chameleon when he's now running with a man who he said might be America's Hitler is beyond comprehension. Then Fox had on a uh, guest supporting Vice President Kamala Harris, who was talking about a decrease in border crossings, to which the uh, other Fox guests just start shouting and play the clip. The border every single day, Antoine. The the fact is, you know that. And she, go ahead. The fact, the facts, as you know them, Let, let's talk about the executive order, because for the fifth consecutive months, we see those numbers coming down. See, and the fact he, is, he on, this, on this very network, she on this are. very network, you okay. had Republicans okay. come How on here this? and say I, this, I, I the border security legislation her, was the most comprehensive. I got video tape of her talking about uh, defunding uh, the police. I guess that's the memo that's sent from the Fox higher ups. If facts start coming out, just start yelling. But the fo- but the Fox guest does get in the fact that there was that Vice President Kamala Harris raised more than double of what Donald Trump raised in July. Vice President Kamala Harris raised three hundred and ten million dollars. Here, play this clip. If you look at the fact that she raised three hundred and ten million dollars uh, in the month of July, three hundred mm-hmm. three million donors, uh, two thirds of them are first time donors. 60% women, $20 million by way of Zoom. We see the common momentum spreading. She's unifying the base. Uh, the politically unhoused are starting to come home. And independent thinkers are starting to lean in and pay attention. Then uh, Donald Trump was interviewed by Maria Bartiroma. Donald Trump continued to uh, justify canceling the debate that he's afraid to do. Why would I do it? I'm winning in the polls. Actually, you're down in mostly all of the polls right now, but here, play the clip. They'd say, oh, Trump's, you know, not doing the debate. That's the same thing they'll say now. I mean, right now I say, why should I do a debate? I'm leading in the polls. And everybody knows her, everybody knows me. She wants- And by the way, just you could take a look at the polls to see where he's down at. Donald Trump then tries to explain that uh, we can get rid of all of our nation's debt with a crypto check. A crypto check? No such thing as a crypto check, number one. Number two, you added most of the nation's debt. You did, Donald Trump. You added over $8 trillion in debt in a very short period of time. Here, play this clip. They think it's good. Who knows, maybe we'll pay off our $35 trillion, hand them a little crypto check, right? We'll hand them a little Bitcoin and wipe out our $35 trillion. But how do you- And Fox has on Carl Rove, and Carl Rove was in the George W. Bush administration, Republican. He says the momentum he sees with Vice President Kamala Harris, if she carries that momentum through the convention, should take her to the White House. Here, play this clip. This is that they've got one week after that convention, one week and a couple of days, before Labor Day. And that's going to be, I think, attitudes by Labor Day are going to be really important. So she needs to come blowing out of that convention in Chicago uh, and showing big crowds and lots of enthusiasm. Trump, he has difficulties too. 
Uh, he's got to frame Harris. He's got to find the right message to go after her, because as, as Lucas said, we've got 101 days as of today, and he's got to get back in control of the, of the dialogue. He is clearly in a subordinate role here. He feels uncomfortable with it, I suspect, and he likes being in, in the guy who's setting the tempo of the campaign, and that's not happening. Think about this, Neil. Nine national polls since Joe Biden announced on the 19th that he's not running. If you if you take those those nine polls, it is Trump by 0.88. That's basically nine tenths of one percent. And that's after he gets the bump coming out of the convention that uh, that really showed a unity for the Republican ticket and the Republican Party. And so this is going to be a barn burner and it's very much up for grabs. And the next two or three weeks are going to be critical for both camps. More Janine Pirro trying to stoke a culture war over here. Play the clip. But you want to talk about the International Boxing Association being corrupt. The IOC is just as corrupt. Amen. And Whoa. they've got but their they, morals backwards. They, these, They're calling these yeah. people victims. They are not victims. They are perpetrators. They are okay. abusers and they're allowed to destroy the dreams of young women who have worked their whole lives to get there. Shame I, on them. Yeah, we stand with women, Jessica. That's right. Up okay, next, so that's Tom. Here's more of Kevin McCarthy whining. Play the clip. Mr. Speaker, your thoughts? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, first, you realize there's no teleprompter there. And I've, I've known the vice president for a long time. She always starts very strong in a campaign, even for her presidential campaign, 40,000 people in Oakland. But then she couldn't even make it to Iowa, even for her Senate race, even for her attorney general race. By the way, we previously prepared this video at the Midas Touch Network to show you all of the kind of culture war things that Fox has tried to do over the past few years to distract from talking about dishwashers to Dr. Seuss and Mr. Potato Head and whatever the uh, culture war is, Bud Budweiser or Bud Light or all these things to try to distract people and divide us. Here's the video we created at the Midas Touch Network. Play the clip. The problem is they are a weird political party. M&M's will not be satisfied until every last cartoon character is deeply unappealing until the moment you wouldn't want to have a drink with any one of them. These 26 QAnon people. Q is a patriot. QAnon believers lined up on the grassy knoll. It's the site of the JFK assassination. They believed that the president's late son, JFK Jr., would miraculously appear and that he would help Donald Trump take back power. I want to talk about the real pandemic, child sex trafficking. By putting masks on these kids' face, you guys support sex trafficking. Have you been a good little Nazi? It's not necessarily the extreme. I mean, these are people that talk about testicle tanning. Testicle tanning. It's testicle tanning. Half the viewers right now are like, what? That's testicle tanning? That's crazy. But my view is, okay, testosterone levels crash and nobody says anything about it. That's crazy. By and large, a large part of the Republican Party is just out and out weird. Then all of a sudden you get invited to, like, well, hey, we're going to have kind of a, a, a sexual get together at one of our homes. You should come. Yeah. And then you realize they're asking you to come to an orgy. Yeah. You got a lot of really crazy people. The front runners of the Ohio Republican Senate race got into a heated fight. When do we invade Australia and free an oppressed people? In Florida, the state education department rejected more than 50 mouth textbooks for promoting critical race theory. The Democrats are the party of princess predators from Disney. Disney stepping in saying, you know, in every episode now they're going to have Mickey and Pluto going at it. Like, <laughs> really? World. The, the antidote that we've seen now is urine therapy. Satan's controlling the church. Calling gingerbread men a gingerbread person when obviously they're men. Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. Wind. They say the noise causes cancer. So absolutely normal. Yep. They're really like odd ducks. Tell me what you thought about that video. Um, Fox in a total meltdown mode. We'll keep you posted here on the Midas Touch Network as we learn more. Hit subscribe because we're on our way to 3 million subscribers here. Number one watched media network on all of YouTube, more than CNN, MSNBC, and Fox, and that's thanks to you. Spread the word about this network and hit subscribe. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.